my shit. Here we go. Here we go. We hey. got the finale episode up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. hey. And we got two special guests, y'all. We got my dear friend Candace up in the building. Say what's, what's up. up? Hey. What's up? Hey. We got 5678 up in the building. Say what's up. Hey. hey. Come on. Okay. We got her man Omar up in the building. Say what's up. What's hey. the dilly? What's the dilly? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, yeah, I think loves. we might need to work out real quick, real quick. We got to show them that we can do some work. <laughs> Workout. Omar yeah. is, if y'all don't know, well, you guys are going to introduce yourself. And of course, we got my honey up in the building. Say hey. what's up. Hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, so this is. Um, wow. We're finally here. You We're guys here. are finally here. Damn. And you guys, I haven't talked to I haven't talked to you in so long. Since and this we, is going to be a great catch up. The last time we were all together, we went to that restaurant. Big. Volcano. Volcano. Yeah. Volcano. Was yep. it, yeah, it nah, was nah, nah, nah. It was that y'all. spot right, in, right next to it. Gayukaku, remember? It was oh, Gayukaku where, where, we, where, right where, right where yeah. we were where we were cooking, and then we just filmed our new freezer video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a send Damn, production that, the that new freezer video. See, y'all? Yeah. That was Valentine's Day. That two was like two, 2019. Yeah. Together? That we I mean, all I definitely, down. we've seen each other. Y'all haven't seen each other, and we haven't been together since all that, like all four of us. Right. Even before COVID hit. Damn. Yeah. Oh my God. That's not good. Hey, but everybody on the grind. Though. Yeah, everybody go. Yeah. And I want to know what y'all have been doing. I mean, I already know what y'all have been doing, but you know, just for the uh, after class listeners. So for people who don't know, I know can we me and Candace go way back. We Years. started in um with dance, mm-hmm. honestly, in class. I think the first time you had a single out, mm-hmm. you brought it to the one of the choreographers that I was working with at the time. Mm-hmm. And bitch, I was the best one up in that bitch. And Come Candace on. was like, you I know like, what? Who is this? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I legit was like, but who is she, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm trying to be next to her. Uh-huh. Like, whatever that is. I don't Shit, know. I said the same thing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to get in them drawers. <laughs> I hate you. And he got them and drawers. And he big got them drawers. Big mm. got them drawers. Put them on the wall. I yeah. hate you. <laughs> I hate you. But yeah, ever since then, Girl. C and I have been, and then we went on tour. We started traveling together. We started working together. And everybody called Filming together. And every time, and oh, this yeah. is our story every time, for people who don't know us together, like people always were like, you guys are sisters. You guys are twins. And we're like, bitch, I mean, it's, we're both beautiful, but I'm like, I'm black and Filipino. <laughs> yeah. She's Thank Cuban, you, Haitian. It's the energy, though. Y'all twins. It's the energy. Yep. It's Twin the energy. Vibes. I love it. I love it because she's such a beautiful soul inside and out. And I just, every time somebody says that, I'm like, okay, sure. It is what it is. Right. I'm like, we are absolutely not, we do not have the same parents, but we'll take it. <laughs> have and you ever been called a twin to somebody who is like, oof. No. Uh, well, they tell me who I look like all the time. And if she's Tony. not, but who that? I Justin. like being that, called who? twins with Aaliyah. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. <laughs> who, who, who? No, who they tell you? They always say I'm a. Bra- I look like a Braxton. You look like yeah. You do. I have you do. to give you. You yeah. look like a cousin, you do. a distant cousin. You, do. you and the family. You could definitely the- slide right in. Yeah. Unbreakable. <laughs> Come on. Say you love me again. Yep. Yep. It's that wit. It's that, that lip quiver. That lip quiver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, oh, I, I yeah, that's what they tell me look like. But yes, we met then, mm-hmm. and then we did tours together, like legit going from planes to hotels. Me and her bookends, yes, bow, yes, bow, yes, bow, bow, and yeah. then we just started doing videos together, and those on started going media. crazy on social media. Took off. And like yeah. it was just always so much fun, you yeah. know? Yeah, and I mean, honestly, for. You really have shown, and I have to invite you um, by yourself so I can really dive into this and like let them know what it really, really took for us to start. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like Candace, y'all, is that one person that will get it her motherfucking self. And I Mm -hmm. think she was my big sister. She Mm -hmm. was my big sister when I didn't know anything. You know what I mean? And um, you were still so fucking relatable. You know what I mean? Like you were still trying to find it on your own, but I always thought of you as like that person who had it. She had it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had it. She's a star. She fucking sings. She dances. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking raps she's an entrepreneur yep. i want y'all to um learn about her new brand that's mm. out bitch this new collection <laughs> like you always got it you always got the bag mm. always got the bag you so know congratulations for everything thank you and i yeah and then don't get that. me started on this one right. i mean it's shit omar omar is honestly this my whole life and since you've known me like you've known since before i was in a relationship like you know my ex situations mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. like I know history. you know that you were there when I was c- crying my eyes out to you you know yeah. 
Um, and I mean, he doesn't know all this, but no, it, it, I've I, actually never heard this story before. Well, it's not going to be like, like, it's, not, it's it, not a story. It's huh? not a yeah, story. No, it no. stopped right there. All okay. you need to know is that <laughs> okay. I'm happy now. Okay. Yeah. And with the right person by my side, it's been mm -hmm. like, it just takes things up Spark. another notch. Like, yeah, you, I can do everything on my own. That's great. But that's not my life goal. That's not my life purpose. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think being a woman, it's very important to stand by your man, stand behind your man, and bring the whole entire empire up. I, You know what? I, I'm going to be so honest. I did not think that y'all would last this long. Really? Not like, not in the fact where like y'all just weren't good together, but you, I just didn't, you always were that independent woman where it's like, I don't know if I'm going to meet my man until... When, uh, until I'm a fucking millionaire. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I don't need one. Yep. I was the one that always was so in love. Like, I don't know. We were together when, yeah. Yes. We've been yeah. together for we all were, the time. Yeah. But I was like the lovey-dovey lovey one. Yeah. <laughs> she would be like, it just is what it is, bitch. Yeah. Me, myself, and I, independent woman. But that's cool that you met your equal in Omar to where you were like, yeah, I could do this. I can still do my own shit. But be in a relationship and do shit together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's the it's epitome a of a power couple. For right. Sure. A lot Thanks. of people think that just because they're together, they're a power couple. Mm. Everybody who together ain't a power couple. That mm. is you know so what I'm saying? True. Yes. Omar, tell us a little bit about uh tell us a little bit about your history and your background and like before you met C. <laughs> yeah. He was a hoe. Ooh. <laughs> but <show>. show. <laughs> oh, he was but, out uh, here in these streets. <laughs> I was definitely out here in these streets. I mean, I was uh NFL pro athlete, you oh, know. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah right. played for Denver Broncos from Say 2012 less. through right. 2016, and yeah. went to two Super Bowls, yeah. won one. You yeah. know, yeah. So, um, damn. Uh, yeah. So before I met Candice, I, I was I was a pro athlete full time, and uh, I met Candice um, after an injury at the time that I didn't know what eventually end up into my career. But at the time, oh, wow. I, I, yeah, at the time I didn't know that though. At the time when I met Candace, I was fresh off of winning the Super Bowl. Hot. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about so my career being it. over. No. Nah. Yeah, you had it all. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Some would some would say that for sure. Uh -huh. Um, obviously I was missing someone in my life, you mm. know. At the time though, I, I didn't know that either. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that I was definitely just having a good time. But mm. yeah, um, since then, since then and since obviously meeting Candace, um, I, she actually introduced me to like the social media world. Right. I remember me. I rem I remember sitting down with Candice at uh, breakfast okay. the first time we ever went to breakfast. Okay. And uh, we're talking about just like what she's doing and stuff like that. And I remember her showing me her Instagram, and she had eighty eight thousand followers. Wow. And I was I I remember being like, damn, like. What does this girl do? Like, I just want a Super Bowl. I have fifty thousand followers. She has eighty, and I've never seen her before. You know, ah, yeah. Yeah, she was she, was, ah, she was like, that's interesting. Yeah, she was like, oh, I'm doing this social media stuff. I got this group of friends that you know are doing in that it. space doing it, and yeah, and it, you you know. And what did you think about the social media world? Where was it something that you were interested in? Like, did you? Like, what? Because I know sometimes, like for us women, we're like all over it because it's kind of easier for us but for men sometimes i can i just come across a lot of men that's like man i'm not trying to take this picture man i'm not trying to talk in front of the camera man like they don't need to know my business whatever whatever mm -hmm. you know what did you think about it in yeah the beginning I, like that I, i've never been that guy mm. you know in fact so you were open i was so open to it and you know i enjoyed it you mm -hmm. know i in fact like that year maybe the year before i met her in 2015 um this was the first time ever a football team had been like um recognized um for their sense of style mm. right so mm. denver broncos won best nfl's best dressed team in 2015. Damn. what i didn't even know that i didn't know i mean it's, it's like some sports shit oh, like you see like, the, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's within that so it's I'm not like something big but like I don't watch it's, right. it's, it's becoming bigger because yeah. more people are into like what guys are wearing now if you've and been seeing it heavily media, with with nba have, exactly mm -hmm. so now the nfl is doing it nice um so in, in terms of like Put, putting ourselves out there, we've been on the runways taking photos of the yeah. fit before the game every ah, week, you know, so it was like, so you, you were had already a sense of entertainment of outside, of sports. outside of sports already, and then it was like, damn, finding out that people can make money from it. Mm -hmm. oh, I was like, oh, okay. Game changer. That's a right. game changer. I think that's what, that's that's what a, got you, honey. That's a game changer. I'm like, oh, shit, Hot man. Route. Hot route. Yeah. <laughs> that's what got you, I think. I yeah. mean, you, I mean, you've been in, you, honey is in entertainment. He's been in entertainment. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he's used to being in front of the camera, but doing it as a profession. As a profession. And doing this every day. I had to make the adjustment. We, you know, we, we came in the industry when it was a totally different monster. Just dance. And those people who kind of fell by the wayside are the ones who didn't adjust. Mm -hmm. They were the ones who kind of shunned it. 
Yeah. And you guys together made bridge the gap. Absolutely. Yeah. Our generation, our generation, you like you said, it could we could have either either stayed there, mm-hmm. still auditioning mm-hmm. and going mm. to go break our backs in half and, and not and waiting in lines and, waiting. and yep. doing all this other stuff. Yep. Or yeah. like or coming in right here on this side, I I'm like straddling the fence. Yeah. Right, right, right. You know, where you create your own platform create and it's your like, own lane. if you want get books straight off of your social media I because if you're auditioning on there because you're doing your best on there it doesn't, yeah. make, it doesn't make you better or worse yep. Yep. it doesn't make us better or worse it's it's about being able to expand and yeah. you guys mastered that shit wow. mm. yeah. together because yeah. one with the one with the other she's I, mastered it more than I have I'm still I'm still getting there I still hold on to some of the old old isms mm, the tra- and traditional ways the traditional ways mm. um, but it's still but a balance yeah it it opened my eyes the first time I went to an audition and after everything and everything mm. is good and you done audition and everything and they say oh so what's your social media. You're like, and like, you're like, Ugh. whoa, Not they're existing. actually asking for your social media. <laughs> they're asking for your followers, and too. And they're like... Because they know they're going to get extra promotion okay, from it. thank you. Like, that's <laughs> I'm like, shit. So it's not even about your talent. Can't even be that's judged cr- off but your before, work But before right. it was like... Well, no. What's yeah. your hair color? Right. Before it was like, yeah, we just talked about that uh, in the last it was episode. A, it was a type It's cast. your look. Yeah. So, yeah. so, I mean, it was like that before. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's just different now. And I'd rather not waste my time and go... And get ready, and get nervous, and call my mom, and right. get all the get all these butterflies. Do you tell want me. me or not? Just tell me. <laughs> do you do you need me tell to be there? Because I will be there, and I'll be there spunky and ready. <laughs> 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 and I'm gonna give you all I got once okay. I'm booked. But don't try to sit here and try yeah. to make me. Uh uh-uh. uh. Right. I mean, we did. It was cute when you were like 16, 17. But when right. You're not I anymore. Don't got time. I mean, that, I don't got that, time. That, that does serve a purpose, though. So, yeah. It does. Right. right? Getting prepared to perform in front of people that you don't know. For sure. Mm-hmm. You know, a routine that you only had a couple days to prepare for, or whatever the case may be. Like, you that prepares you right. for like bigger moments. It's a different type I'm of like, pressure. Like, you, you, absolutely. You don't? Absolutely. Game time versus. I, I mean, anybody could dance in their room. Exactly. With the camera just them. Yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? So but, it's a little oh bit my. different. But no, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm, I'm I like that saying. point. I'm I like saying. that point. You know, it's like it's easy to dance when no one's watching you. I like you know, that like, point. It's different when you got to do it in front of you. You don't got the pressure. There's no class, pressure. There's yes. no pressure. But class, class still. is the release of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying not to go to class. Yeah. I'm saying I'm good on auditioning. Yeah, yeah. Right. Going in. Right. I feel you 100%. I really do. But I'm saying, like, Shit, training, go and train and yeah. be the oh, best sure. at it. And oh, I'm I not feel saying like, that. I yeah. feel like yeah. our time too, like it was it was a good training period where it was just whoever was in the room, like right. sweating, 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 and then competitions and then doing all this other stuff that was all the practice we needed. Yeah. Cattle calls. I do not, I do not want, I, I'm good on that. And I did a million <laughs> I'm good of on you that. guys. Oh, yeah. I've, and I was not the best auditioner. <laughs> I did not remember choreography. <laughs> and if you know oh, me, you I'm know. So glad you said <laughs> You're like, thank God she told on herself because Yo, I am like see, the... Com- hey, hey, but you find it quick. Oh. You find it quick. All she needs is like, She'll just look in the corner. <laughs> that peripheral. She'll start to do something. <laughs> that peripheral is crazy. And then, hey, her peripheral. And she catches it. And she catches oh, it. So you would never, never know. know. You never you, know. That, that like, is Oh, I like her. how she was in the pocket. Nah, bitch. <laughs> no, she ah. was waiting to count. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she was Yo, waiting. We were bookends, and you know me, I catch oh, yeah. on choreography quick. Yeah, so <laughs> every I time we were like, stays. every time I'd be like, Aaliyah, what is the what is what is five six seven eight? What, what is, is five six seven before, eight? Because <laughs> what is five six seven eight? I don't and know, but one, in two, rehearsal, I would, and it's crazy because if I don't rehearse full out, I will not go on stage right. and do it great. So yeah. I've learned, you know, with choreography for anybody that doesn't know how to learn choreography. And let me give you a pro tip because I've actually learned. Oh my. <laughs> Get your notes. Oh my notes. <laughs> right. Not, Rehearse. Oh yeah, he's kind of. <laughs> Rehearse. Pull out. Especially with your arm. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and see, then you'll learn the choreography. We know that, that from the sense. South too. See, because we. You got to be full <laughs> out. Hey, Is but. It- I mean, I'm not, I'm not even a dancer though, but just being an athlete, like you got to practice how you gonna play. Period. Mm. You know, like that that applies to everything. Yeah. So you know, don't, don't be try to be in, in, in practice or, or, or rehearsal, whatever. Yeah. Thinking you can go through the motions, and when the lights turn on, you are gonna be it. Right. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Trust. Right. No, we know we done seen your workouts. <laughs> 
Because I'm like, <laughs> <if> people <laughs> do their workouts, right? You know, come on, y'all, let's get it. I watch their workouts and I'd be like, yo, you got to work out before you go to their workout. Yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> you guys have to come to the house. Oh, but and I do love one. it though. I mean, yo, they got stuff for yeah. every style though. I want, I want to hear yeah, more no, about they're, like they're what y'all doing. Stuff for everything. Yeah, yeah we want to hear about, okay, so when COVID hit, whatever, March, mm. what mm. happened? What, what y'all, I mean, y'all mm. had your YouTube channel before then, right? Yeah, yeah, but we weren't really active on it because. We tried it. You just had it going. We would. Just had that's it where we're at. That's just where we're at right now. And I we would think argue. that's kind of like mm-hmm. where we're at. Mm-hmm. We would argue. Tell me why. Because it's like coming up with the ideas, mm. um, yeah. editing the shit. It's finding like the time to shoot. Everyone, fighting. we both have different schedules. Oh yep. my god! And it's just like irritable. Like I'm yep. with you, then I'm with you now, and I'm with you back. It looks like, <laughs> and so, I'm with you, and I'm still with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm annoyed, and yeah. you're driving me crazy, I'm and sick I don't, and and then the angles, and then this or that. I'm like, I'm a girl. Don't put me on camera looking like that. I'm yep. a showgirl, baby. Mm-hmm. If I don't have my fucking lashes on, <laughs> don't do it. And I'm ready to shoot at any time. And he's ready to shoot. Ready to shoot at any oh, time. he's into some coconut yeah, oil. that's true. <laughs> oh, no. Today, I was ready to go. I was dressing and everything. She was like, baby, what you wearing? I was like, this. <laughs> This I had to change my whole outfit and my shirt. I was like, Probably we need to color iron. coordinate. <laughs> like we are a couple, okay? See, see, so there's things that you know we're just two different human beings, and to completely try to like come in together to do yeah a, a, a YouTube channel. I mean, I wouldn't advise it unless you're actually gung ho about it. But mm. we built an incredible team, an yes. incredible team, and yeah. our man, team. shout out to B Roll Productions, shooter. shout out to the shooter, the shooter yeah. of shout out shooter. To and um, it made it that much easier. So mm-hmm. we had to compromise and figure out how, and financially. Got to invest, mm-hmm. invest in your business, though. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Invest so in your for, business. for people who have never seen you guys' YouTube channel, what can we expect if y'all <laughs> go? To, uh, what, is it, what is it called, Comar? The Comar Show. The Comar Show. Show. And it's Comar Show. With the Comey. Hey. hey. Oh, my love. We made that shirt yesterday. Come on. Hey, that's lit. Oh. That's lit. It's that gonna is be, so lit. It's going to be our little uh, holiday thing. We have a heat press at the house. It's not going to look like this. This is a little sample at, we're just playing around with. Okay. Yeah. At the house. We have a heat press at the house. Oh, yeah. We, we trap it out the band, though. Yeah, when, I'm saying, when yeah. I'm saying they do it, like... Pick it up? Yeah. Well, that's from uh, the 5678 stuff that was bought years ago. Couldn't figure it out. Like... The we're at home like shit. We got time. Let go. Right. What we doing? Mm-hmm. We got time and we got DIY. the resources. Let's we do have the it. Wow. Why, DIY, DIY is my. I swear to God, my. TikTok. She loves his DIY stuff right now. I do too. It, I, that's, it pops do, up it on my do it yourself. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Do yeah, yourself. Yeah, that's what I asked for Christmas from his mom. A resin. You know the resin thing. Like mm-hmm. the clear. DIY yeah. kid. Yeah. DIY mm-hmm. kid. I. I don't know. That's my inner child, though. Uh, As uh, being a kid, like I used creating. to just yeah, creating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. I don't know. And now we, we got just time. been hiking, bitch. <laughs> That's great. Right. We've just been. No, no, no. We've been Staying doing active. some things. No, we've yeah, we, yeah, things. we definitely have our YouTube channel going on. You know what how's I'm that, saying? How's that been? The branches, huh? How's that been? It's been good. It's been fun. Yeah. I think what our problem is right now is I feel like. We there has to be something going on in order for the camera to be rolling. Like I, we like I said, like you just said, like we need to plan our mm-hmm. shoots. We need to have a reason to be shooting. But I don't know if I, I don't mm-hmm. know if I've gotten, um, I don't know if I've uh, agreed with or like my spirit and my intuition has agreed with just shooting, just to shoot, oh, and yeah. then we'll just and then because that's him, mm-hmm. we that's had him. That He'll face. just shoot something. But we can fit it into something later. When we find something, we can always fit what we shot last week. Yeah. You know what I mean? We thought it was for nothing, but we can always fit it in and make it and make it something. Yeah, I, I, I'm like, I, nah, I, pro- I don't want to do that. See, I, have I don't want to shoot just to shoot. I have a production brain. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I've been doing film right. for over eight years now. So not understanding that you can make a story out of nothing. anything. Anything. Out of See? nothing, honestly. Yeah, no, I haven't, and and I if haven't. she doesn't agree with it, with it, I can't force it upon her. Yeah, yeah, I think nah. this last episode that we just did with the Christmas, I mean, with Thanksgiving, whatever, was the first time she realized, like, yo, you can actually make something out of nothing. Because I, I made an episode out of literally, I won't say nothing, but no, yeah. we thought was nothing. No, but the, the YouTube, like, server is filled with videos well, about nothing. nothing. Yep. It's and filled. I watch them. We all, yeah. we all do. We all do. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't always have to be a well thought out idea. You That's know, it can me. always be I more vlog style. You know, soul. whatever it is that you're doing, mm-hmm. shit, running errands mm-hmm. with, with with hubby or with wifey today. Uh, yeah, you know, oh. yeah. just little yeah. shit like that. I mean, you know? it's really just all it is. YouTube. I don't think. I think we are so professional, and I say that with every meaning of it. Like we've been doing this stuff for a very long time, and everything yeah. has to have a purpose and a meaning. I think what I've learned from YouTube over this these this past year is like 
understanding that it, not everything has to be so Grandiose. like so so like i mean yeah planned because we're gonna shoot at this time to this time but yeah. like I don't know what's about to come out of my mouth. You didn't know what you were going to say when you walked in here to the, you know, like, mm-hmm. you just, we're just, improv we meet, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. we meet, we talk, mm-hmm. and whatever comes out is what comes out, and yep. that's what's going to be on the show. I yep. will say that that's her gift. She's, huh. I'm the more like, hey, let's get this shot list together. Let's get this production schedule, boom, boom, boom. She's just like, what time we need to be there? Mm-hmm. I'm going to show up, and I'll, I'll be asking her questions. Baby, what are we going to do this? She gets so irritated, mm-hmm. and, but. That's the the gift that you have learned through mm. Instagram. Mm, it's mm, you mm. can create an instant, instant, mm. instant story. Oh, shit, I didn't Instagram. Think about that. Right, right, I'm right. used to let's get the let's get the, the story. DP. Yeah. Mm. Let's we still get, need that. We, you know, we you know, <laughs> but we still need that. You that's need both. Like, that's why it's yeah. great that you yeah. guys are a team. I, but think I, that's... I, I tend to overproduce. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been like, all right, today let's go. We're gonna get the engineer here. We're gonna get the sound guy. We're gonna get. And that makes it like, work. No, and just, I don't want to work. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now it's you do cool need that the y'all have a set. shooter because yeah. it's like not. You don't even have to think about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It still yeah. worked though. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah but for me, like when I don't have the shooters that we prefer, it's yeah. like wait, wait, wait. All right, y'all. So you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to. I don't want to pull out my phone. I don't want in a not authentic moment. Mm-hmm. I hate that. I hate yeah. when I feel like I have to redo Force something. It. Like if if we didn't get it, then it wasn't meant to be got. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And maybe maybe it's just a mind thing it's that mind I have shift. to switch. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we gotta we gotta do it for the fans. We gotta do it for the followers. Because y'all mean a lot to us. However, for me, I just want to be a, like original as possible, authentic. If mm-hmm. he didn't get it, then. Damn. Be on point next yeah. time. Sound like they looking for a shooter. Sound <laughs> like they looking for a shooter yeah. that can capture shooter. those candid moments. Shout out right. to Zuri. <laughs> Shout out to Zuri Sadai. Shout out to John Hernandez. Yeah, yeah. but those. Are, but I'm saying vlogging. Vlogging is different from. I'm those. like, I want a GoPro at this point. Yeah. Put a GoPro right here so it can just, just be, be filming shot. everything. So I don't have to worry about shit. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I hmm. think. I think. It's what a the lot, you, bitch. It's a lot. But the you YouTube audience likes. Likes the. Yeah. Mm. They love like, that. Like we're yeah. we're doing some other shit by having a shooter. Yeah. Like to be honest, no, like, for real. They like you just rambling and just having the phone up. It's not mm. like you have to redo anything. Just mm-hmm. talk and da da da. Like yeah. right. So there's episodes where B-roll's not with me. He's mm. with him, and I gotta go fucking do it language. yourself. I gotta yeah. go do it myself, and yeah. I've gotten used to it now. Mm-hmm. And I feel bad for like anybody that's next to me that isn't a YouTuber <laughs> because <laughs> I'm like I probably look crazy, but like I'm okay with this now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like you need to know like. If we pulling up, if I'm pulling up and I'm shooting, like the other day, I went to the to the store to yeah. go get some Christmas stuff, and y'all had B-roll with me, and I'm like, I mean, I gotta get it. Yeah. we're doing vlogmas. We have a we have. You a, cannot be shy. You cannot mm-hmm. be shy. Can't and I told that. her, I said, mm-hmm. look, I'm not gonna get you as much. Just know that I'm gonna have this camera out. And I, this is crazy that this conversation even has with to be a stranger. Had. Who? No, 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 my my home girl. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But you know. I, I didn't tell her before, but I told her when we got there, like, I'm about to be shooting us. By the way. By the way. But, but I mean, of course, they, kn- they know who their friend is, too. You know yeah. what I mean? Right. They know that I'm literally, they understand the, the business expect. side of it. And having those kinds of talks with family, too. Mm. It's, Why? What does your family think? Family no, know what's up. They know oh, what's up the now. They know what's up. Yeah. They know what's up. They're down. They down. But they had, to see, they had to see a little bit of it. Like, yeah. my mom was shy. Now she's like, hey. Now she comes ready. <laughs> the she camera comes ready. Up. Yeah, they know what time it is. Because they know they're going to get exposed yeah. if they don't. You know? Yeah. Like, and last time she's like, why did you put me on that camera? Look at yep. that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And so Can now, <laughs> every time now, she's like, hey. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's natural. That's yeah. what's in the thing now. You yeah. know, my everybody. dad was pissed because uh, yeah, you know, we we didn't tell him we were shooting. and He didn't clean his backyard. Yeah, he was like, yo, oh. like I would have loved for my backyard. Like, don't do me like that. Yeah, got at me. Oh, the, rest man, got, yeah, the backyard got to be right. Dad, you know, you know right. for coming over. <laughs> nah, then, yeah, that's the same ready. thing as my mom and my um and my dad. The traditional, the traditional people who like the older generations, they're like, we got to make sure. It's but it's right. like, nah, we got to be real. Like, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, I get it, though. That I takes get it. time. Like, like yeah. even Troy's a little more into it, though. Yeah, no, yeah. I think they are. I think the older generations, the, you know, our parents who are close to us are kind of seeing like how like what this is and what it can turn into the businesses yeah. what can thrive from it yeah. you know what i mean the and money that we can get from it just by having fun in our lives and being creative because that the traditional... is once when i put sorry 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 go ahead let me just get this thought out once when i show my mother and my parents the money that i have been making from this is it that's all they need to see babe that's it. i'm sorry yeah. christmas yeah. about they to be got, good they, sh- yeah. they like they can't mm-hmm. say nothing because it's like damn and then i 
have to wake up still at 5.30 a.m. in the morning, go to this nine to five job that I've been working at for 20 plus years and make less than you. Yeah. While you're yeah. home, just being dumb, having fun. And building a brand. Building you, a brand. You messed yeah. around and built a brand. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say there's I, a crack in the veil because of yeah. what's going on. The traditional nine to five structure is not upholding. Right. No, and that's what they were. Right. That's what they were into. So mm. it's like it worked for a time. Mm. There was a time where going to school, going to college was working. Mm -hmm. You would go out, get a job, everything's mm -hmm. good. But when all that started breaking down, it's now it's like, it. yo, what are these kids doing to get this money? Like I got mm -hmm. aunties and stuff, uncles that's got their own channels now. You know, mm, um, crazy. God rest his soul for my stepdad passed away. He started doing more on social media because he's a brilliant business mind. Right. Everything like that. Like, it's a all business. The, everything I set up as a business, I would always talk to him about it. And I'd be like, yo, Pops, you got to do something with this. You need to yeah, get you on YouTube. Yeah, you got to hop on. Mm -hmm. And he started to do it. So that's that's, that's great. starting mm -hmm. to establish yep. an understanding. And then this newest generation, this youngest generation. Yeah. If if we keep showing them the way, they're going to be really good. Yeah. Really, they're going to be really they're gonna come they're already, it. They're already on. Yeah, they, yeah. they have a 10 year old fucking like, But there is a cost. They're just going to lacking social skills. They're just lacking social skills. Like it's hard for them to, you know, do anything face to face. That's what I was going to generate say. any type of like, I didn't think about organic that. conversation. I you didn't know, think about and you don't necessarily that. always need to need to know how to do that. But sometimes like, I mean, one thing that aren't going to stop are like gatherings, yeah. you know, social meetings. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to be able to be. Person charismatic and, and, and work the room, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just being talent behind the screen or yep. on the camera, you know what I'm yep. saying? Because then it won't translate. It won't translate, you know what I'm saying? And then how do I have a conversation with somebody? If I'm interested in giving you a job and mm -hmm. you can't have a conversation with me, then I don't really feel inclined to give you this job anymore, no matter yeah. how much I like you as talent. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, I don't know. Maybe it's the other way around. Yeah. But I, I would assume that that would hinder, you know, that's one thing that could hinder the next generation coming and up. And that is literally our conversation when we have conversations about kids and yep. if they should go to school or if they should be homeschooled yeah. he's like no they need to still be in school right? I still like, need to be in school I'm, yeah. like, I'm like I'm just what a you... little bit like no because yeah. Yeah. why because why because well, the education I don't system think is that I, you, yeah. the yes. education system, I, I don't I believe, believe I think that everything that we learned you guys after everything we went through this year I think that everything we learned is wrong Mm -hmm. Right now, other oh, than absolutely. other than reading and writing, which we learned from first to fifth grade, right? Anything after that, right? What we have, do to, we, we really? have to unlearn. I learned how to stand in line. I learned how to be, learn how to work for somebody else. You're Twelve preparing years me years of obedience training. Yeah. Uh, it's prison, prison, Ooh, prison. 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 Our schools in God. Georgia were built, even physically, the structure of our schools modeled the structure of, of penitentiaries. Yeah. Penitentiaries. Yeah, you were just talking Penit about that. Penit penitenti penitentiaries? <laughs> Prison, bitch. <laughs> Get hey, uh, like, here it is. Penitentiaries. Jail. There we go. <laughs> Yo, I think I definitely think that kids need to be in school, but I feel like we may need to change the classes. Like curriculum got to change. The curriculum Charter has schools. to change. Yeah, but you yeah. can control that at home. Charter school. And then this is my here's my philosophy. But mind you, I don't have kids yet. Put the kids in school to learn blah 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 in the beginning stages. Cool. Mm -hmm. You need to learn all that. Okay, sharing Basic. and all that. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Cool. After third, third, fourth grade, we're gonna take them out. And then their 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 basketball practice, their football practice, their dance rehearsals. Social. That's mm -hmm. when you're gonna get show social. You're gonna learn how to share and stuff. But as far as everything else, we're going to teach you how to do your taxes. We're going to teach you how, how to communicate, oh, how, to, how to be in a relationship, property. how to how to run your own business, how to be your own brand. And that's that. And we all live happily ever after. My favorite class was economics. And I didn't get to take that class until I was a senior mm. for one semester. And I was like, yo, one semester. I remember I, like I remember my teacher, Coach Bodie. He was one of the only white teachers at our at our school mm -hmm. um tri-cities high school east point georgia zone three what's up <laughs> oh and my uh God. home of the bulldogs uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. outcast escape the real just to name a few Burbank Thompson, bulldogs. Uh, yeah. um, but yeah and i was like you know he was teaching us about iras and all this kind of stuff i'm like yo i wish that i but what if i was taking this when i was in elementary school middle school any time before Man, i don't want to yeah. hear that yeah i don't want to hear that shit <laughs> I don't want to hear none of that. But that's you. That they have to make it cool. Yeah. Right. Make, right. Right. That's cool true. They would make it cool. These, these are things that you have to understand. I yeah. Mm. You have to understand these things as an adult if you want to be a, a successful adult. Yeah. If you don't want to be like, you know, scraping yeah. for. I pennies, wish I had a know? relationship class. 
because relationship class. Come on. Mm. Practical or, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, practical. Like, very even practical. mental health classes. Right. Oh. What are we even talking about? But that's why about? charter schools are good because because they have programs like that. Those, those that is part of their curriculum. They well, get to right. Yeah, you have to own. take those classes, so you, right? So you, I mean, it depends on each school. Some oh, of okay. them are chartered more towards business, finance, mm. uh, pharmaceutical. Mm. I mean, pharma, uh, medicine, um, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you can do your research and make sure that that charter school is offering what your child needs. I have a question. Outside of tradition, is a charter school the same thing as a magnet program? Because that's what I was. Thinking. Similarly, but like I was there for dance, right? Mm -hmm. But I still had to take the damn the geometry stuff. class. Mm. I love geometry. geometry class. Ew, I did good. I did Damn, so good at algebra. Class. I was such a good mathematician. Algebra, algebra or geometry? Algebra all day. Algebra. Neither. <laughs> Neither. I P.E. Algebra. Give me, give me a 10-page paper. <laughs> oh, you're an English what? guy. Give me a 10-page paper. Oh, well, write. actually, I was... A, okay, but what are you writing, though? That's a Don't thing. matter. Don't, don't matter. matter. Don't matter. If I give you this I could write book, about anything. If I give you this book and you may not be interested in it, you'll be happy to write a 10-page paper? I'd be more than happy to do that than, than to bust down Pythagorean's we'll theorem. fluff the hell out of that paper. <laughs> we'll fluff the fluff hell out of that paper. Fluff it. Come a on, squared plus B squared theorem. equals C squared. I'm the good. Fuck. Oh, my God, but it's the same I'm answer. Good. I mean, the Answer's right there. I couldn't figure the it formula. out. Like, no. I couldn't figure it out. The formula. I couldn't figure the it out. The formulas was my dog. Okay, right. I'm like, bet. The answer's here. I, all I got to remember is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I will put that shit in. Y That's equals it. MX plus B. Mm. Uh-uh, I'm done. How about one plus two <laughs> equals three? That's my shit. <laughs> That's my shit. Four squared equals two. I was a good Four cheater. Squared. That's all. Come on now. What'd you say? I was Come a good now. cheater. That, that was a life skill. I had to learn no, how to. No, that is a life skill. How, how did you, you cheat? How did you cheat? Um, yeah. So our cool. desk had a basket underneath. I would put the the cheat sheet underneath someone else's desk. I'm oh. doing my work, and I would look underneath. So I'm not looking at a person's paper. I'm looking to the left down. down. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Keep your head down. Do your work. You Wait, so the paper is right under your desk? So I'm sitting here. There's a basket underneath my basket. You don't right, the, the basket, basket where the fucking I would sit books my, go. My, hey, yo, I'm about to put my sheet right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Leave it right here. You can't. You not cheating off of it because yeah. how, how are you cheating? Because you it's underneath you. Yeah. Oh you know my what I'm saying? god, hey, you, you sneaky gotta, devil. Oh, and we used to have signals. We used to, you uh, know, nah, yeah, I would. We would have like if I did if I looked at because I Mom. didn't know I didn't know an answer. I would look at my thing and she would go. That was A. No. Yep. No. That was B. Yep. You in prison. You, that's some shit you do in prison. Flat hand. Flat hand is C. Yep. Easy. <laughs> and then going to like reach down is D. No. Reach down. Ah, Who yeah. are you communicating with? Because nobody wanted to cheat with me. No. Really? <laughs> no. Nobody. Nobody. Hey, I would be like, yo, what's, what's up? up? Are we trying to get in this We're going to do this? Are we going to get an A or a B today? <laughs> and they'd be like, bitch, are we getting I'm going to get. You can do it on your own. <laughs> I never forget <laughs> Ebony Green. She was That's so what she mean. Said? That's she was what she like, said? you could she tried to fight me too. I, I bet she ain't got no followers. I, I bet she don't I have bet no, she got no followers. I bet she don't have no multiple businesses, bitch. <laughs> nah. I, I bet she has a boss. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before before we I just want to talk about my 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 excellent cheating. Yes. Okay, yeah, let's before, go. Because I felt like we were about to segue into something else. But yeah, I, I we gotta were. I gotta tell this secret. <laughs> what? <laughs> All okay, right. let's Hey, y'all remember those pens? Okay, they were clear, they were see-through. You could scroll off the top. No, they weren't gel pens. But it, it was like um, you screw up the top, and when you pull out the top, the ink was connected to it. Yeah. And it was clear. You put yeah, it in. Yeah, yeah, it had yeah, a little yeah. rubber hand thing for yes, you. For, yes. Man, I would print Already out know. the Already answers know. or whatever I you needed. Roll it. Or bullet points for my essay. Type and it up at point four point on, Shut up. on it's magnified. the computer. It's magnified. Hate you. Wow. Yo. That is roll it up. Oh, put it inside that's... the pen. Put the ink back in. Scroll it back on. And I'm writing on the test like this. And you're looking at Ingenuity. your pen. I'm looking at the answers, and I'm looking at my pen. Ingenuity. That is the best. That is the best. That is God damn it. so bad. God damn it. Kids, damn if you're listening, do that. Do that. Yeah, no, it's like <laughs> Yo. That's uh, so very that wow. Crazy. I wish you would I would I wish I would have met you in high school. I would have bagged you. <laughs> no. Bagged and tagged Man. in. Yeah, you would have. See, you would have done it. You would have been no, bagged I wouldn't and tagged have. in. Did you see his pictures? No, I would not have. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was Dog life. There. Thug life with them baggy ass pants and them red shoes on. No, no, no. I didn't, what, what was you looking like? Crazy. What was you looking like? <laughs> I, I honestly was not it. I look oh. at pictures like I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how y'all did it. I don't know. I don't know how y'all gave me a chance. Right. 
because they was the glow up is real. Oh Ooh. yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, I wanna I wanna know how my nephew is doing. We are both, oh, shit. all four of us, are parents to Siberian Huskies. Yes, they're That's brothers. That's how you may they're also brothers. know us. Yes, and they're brothers. We got Fani and we got Ghost. Yeah. How is Ghost? Ghost is out here running amok on these hoes. For Come real? On. He got hoes coming to the house every single day. In so we leave them in the area codes. <laughs> I hate you. Area I have videos. Codes. You don't even codes. understand. He <laughs> legit has, okay, so what? You got the, dogs coming over? In the front yard, absolutely. Oh, Every like day. oh, neighbors' dogs. Every day. Yeah, and they're the yeah. same. They're the same dogs. I mean, of course, we know them. Right, so right. We leave him up front. He goes. He runs him up, and then all of a sudden, I have my little door open, like the whatever the glass yeah. door to the front, and um, I just hear, "Hey, go!" It's a it's a different woman every time, like. Same women, but the same different dogs. Yeah, and they let their dogs in, and then it's a it's a natural dog park Cycle. in our front yard. Really, with um, their dogs, and um, we are currently looking for a female, a white female Us husky. Too. Us too. So I mean, please. not that color, but we definitely, definitely want Fonny to make. So babies. if you guys are in our area, please. Um, Fonny and Ghost, they come from a great background. <laughs> great they were background. raised and they have great personalities. Long, fluffy, Amazing cold. personalities. Um, Amazing. They're actually the most beautiful dogs in the world. And we didn't say that. You didn't hear that from us. Right. But they actually are so fucking fine. And if I was a girl, I would have. I would have. Girl dog? Right. <laughs> Absolutely. I would have taken any one of them. <laughs> Wait, okay. So when you guys bring him to the dog park or anything, like, uh, how's his. Do other male dogs get mad at him or do they try to. Has he. I've only seen that one time. Uh huh. Like one time, we took him to a dog park together, and uh, I think like might have been a German Shepherd. It was a bigger dog, mm-hmm. kind of pressed Ghost, um, kind of barked at him a little bit. Mm-hmm. Ghost got it. It was like a little sign of aggression. Okay. Out yeah. of Ghost, which we never see. Right. Yeah. Ever. You know, ever. And then that was the end of that. Is Ghost seen- fixed? No, nah. he's not. He, they yes. didn't fix him. Nah. That's why we're yeah. trying to. Yeah, breed they're him. trying to. Yeah, they're trying to breed him. Oh, that's right. Well, Duh. we're not trying to breed him. That's illegal. But we are definitely you trying. You want him to have some babies. Yeah, yeah. we want him to have some babies because I'm ready yeah. for to have a baby of some sort. Yeah. Ooh. And it could be my son's child. True. <laughs> go ahead and wow. make me. Go ahead wow. and make me a grandma already wow. before I'm a fucking mom. I... Wow. <laughs> okay. Candice. Hey. What? Full name That's... for that one. <laughs> There's a there's an opening for that. There's a timing for that. It's all you want to have some flowing. babies. Are you ready to have babies? Uh, um, I, I want babies, uh-huh. but am I ready? Are you I don't ready? know. I don't know. But are you ready though? Omar, first of all, <laughs> you want me to have babies, so stop. Are you ready? Though? He asked me all the time. <laughs> are you ready? But, though? No. Are you ready? No. No. I don't think you're ever ready. Are you ready yet? <laughs> I don't think. Are you ready yet? Babe. Okay. Yeah. So Omar wants a baby, huh? You want yeah. a baby? Yeah. Like want, right now? I want a few kids. But like right now, because we want a few kids, but I don't know about right now. Yeah, yeah I don't think you're ever ready, though. Yeah, we're never ready. ready. But, you know, um, just like the stage of, OK, like, let's actively try. Mm. Yeah. Are you there yet? No, no. If mm-hmm. it happened, it's like, no. Yeah. Thank and God, he's just but... trying to make it happen. Oh, trying to make shit. it happen doing what a man does. Let it, let it, <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it, babe? Um, shoot up the club. Shooting up the club. Yeah, shoot up the club. <laughs> Drive by. Drive by. I hate you with these. What do y'all call? What do you call it, honey? Call what? (laughs) Call what? I I call it sex. That's what. That's his natural thing. Okay, no, not that. Your okay. So what is it called? Shooting up the club. Shooting up the club. What's your version? I don't really have a a a a a coin. He's calling it it. skeet skeet skeet. Yeah, yeah, all skeet 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 skeet. (laughs) All skeet. That's southern shit. If we got pregnant. Right now. Knock on wood, wherever fucking wood is. If we got pregnant, I think we would keep it, though. Of course. A hundred percent. You guys have oh, to. Oh, that's not even a question. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, ultimately, it would be up to you, but yeah. uh, I, I know we would keep it because the eyes and the heart that I would put on you, you, you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, you no, and I know, Tally, yeah. we're, we, you know, it's crazy. I would, we would be married right now. If COVID didn't happen, we would be fucking married. When was the, when was the wedding scheduled for? November 5th. November 5th. Mm. November wow. 5th. How come? You guys so, are still holding out for the... Yeah, the, no, we're we holding on. Yeah. Do the, Not because the, we're scared, the, but... The family thing. We're trying to be able to have everybody come. We're trying to be able to... I, I, I understand that. I had a, a conversation with a friend the other day, and he yeah. was telling me how uh, they just said, fuck it, and went, went through with the wedding. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it and? saved them like $20,000. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> like, absolutely. What do you mean it saved them? Saved them money. Because people didn't come. I, you can't no, come. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They just did it virtually. Yeah. So virtually. Like did it virtually. Plates. 
Yeah. Less plates. But it's like less plates. It's for sure. But I just feel like as far as like being a woman, like you dream of that day from when you were a child. Yeah. No, for not sure. Not to say that it needs to be for huge because sure. that's not what I want anymore. What do you want? I did want it. I wanted it to be huge because I wanted it? an audience for our big performance and that you we started wanted. off. I don't want it big. And then when we started to get into it, you was like, wait, I, I want, want it, big. it big. And then now you're like, eh. yeah, okay. we finna go to court tomorrow. We yeah. finna go to we court. I mean, we you guys, we finna go to court. Yeah. I'm tired. Y'all can do, you... do that and still have a celebration. That's and what y'all can still, that's, that's, you can still have, that's what you want. You have the celebration. Yeah. Yeah. I think the thing that like tricked me was because they're expecting this big performance because obviously we want to perform together. We want to have my thing, his thing, still do that. you know, whatever the situation is. So I'm like, we need charge people for it. Yeah. Streaming. Hey, that's not, that's tech. Actually, it's a performance. See, it's a yeah, performance. It's a They're show. performers. Actually. They're performers. They put it on a show. Pay, why do I tickets. have to pay for everybody to come to my motherfucking wedding? I agree with yeah. that. But that's like tradition. I didn't so realize you, that. You, see, that's the shit. That's how you get your bread back right there. Y'all are right going there. to, hey, y'all are going to in and out. out. Y'all are going to in and out. Go. Get yourself a fucking burger. Because I don't need to, I don't need to give you no steak, no salmon, not shit that you're probably not even going to eat. Probably not even going to like because I hope. Oh no, they're going to eat it. They'll be lit. Because they'll be drinking your free liquor. And then you can come back for the free liquor. But the only reason why Weddings are so fucking expensive is because I have to pay for everybody that walks in and their dinner plate. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's so why, we're going to court. That's why. So you're really going to do that? Nah, I'm just fucking nah. around. No, I mean, but I'm, I'm I... cool with that. I'm cool with, you know, of course, if people are coming to celebrate with us, because I'm about the, the spirituality behind it, the symbolism mm-hmm. of sealing our, our marriage in a physical ritual or something like that. Establishing, that's I would lit. love for us to establish some type of ritual that we pass on to our kids. Right. Like, this is how we got married. If you guys want to take something that tradition and pass it on, because right. that's how marriage yeah, became we a thing think of our anyway. Own traditions, it was a tradition definitely. that passed on. So it's more so for that mm-hmm. the symbolism, but we can do that without the grandioso Man. going into debt and Man. you know right? that I, money yeah, we can be, be that's, 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 that's a real thing. Yeah, that's a real thing. You going into debt? Some you know, what break it we would have been in debt definitely. And then I don't even go. Yeah. Moving on. Everything that we learned when we were kids, pretty much, like, now that we're older, that they didn't teach us that in school, I'm tapping back into that, is why we got to, like, revisit everything we learned. Reprogram. Even down to um, vitamin D. Right. Milk does the body good. Does it? (laughs) Does it? Does my does the milk the cow milk that you're trying to get me to drink? Yeah. Yo, does everything, it do everything? All the even the food, the pesticides and our fruits and vegetables and all the sugar that's in the fucking juices and the fruit bowls and shit. Natural everything flavors. So everything. With that being yeah. said, weddings and all that. I mean, it's cool. I like the ritual part of it. Mm-hmm. Right. But as far as like catering to everyone, I don't think y'all need to yeah. do that. And I don't. I'm not planning on. Point doing in that. case. You be like, you hit up a building. Hey, we want to use this establishment um, on this day. All right, it's going to cost X amount. And then you say, oh, yeah, we're doing a wedding. And Oh, wait, wait, it's a wedding? Oh, um, mm, it's going to be yep. three more zeros on the end of it. Right, right, right. Yep. For why? Right, For right, why? right. <laughs> yeah, and I said yes. I was like, okay, November yeah. 5th, thank you. Because yeah. I, I was just so just caught up. Just say bat mitzvah or something. Or just come, on, <laughs> come on now. Say birthday. <laughs> oh, I will wear that bat party. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> Having a birthday. Lahayam. Bat mitzvah. Mm-hmm. Um, damn y'all. Wait, I want to get into your eyelashes. Yeah. I want to get. I will. I want to get into and all of your all of your businesses. Which yeah. So some. from these YouTube channels, it, is that what inspired for y'all to start y'all's business? Yeah. And then how did you get into the lashes? Because mm-hmm. first you had your street line brand five, yeah. six, seven, eight. You know what I mean? So tell us about that. Because I really you. want I really want the um the listeners to be on it. Quick breakdown of everything. So we did the Komar show. Pretty much Omar and I both cut each other's hair off. Mm-hmm. Like I as pranks. That. And this was not this was not fake. Like he legit cut my hair first. <laughs> he thought he was cutting my fake hair, which was my weave from the braids. And he went up too high, took my hair out, and I mean <laughs> I don't oh even my. want to show it right now, but he really cut it. So this side is higher and this side is lower, right? Cry? Okay, cool. So that would have been a deal breaker for me. It's no, for hair. sure. That would have been a deal back. breaker for me. I mean, it's honestly, hair. every every inch, like that shit hurts my soul. <laughs> that would have been a deal breaker. And, and then, look at your hair now. And then look hold how... on. Stop it. And then I'm wearing a track. And then him, I cut his hair and I got so much satisfaction out of that because his hair was growing to his butt. He lost his shit. So whatever. So we're like, damn, <laughs> we need to for real grow our hair back. Now, I never used to wear bonnets 
and hair ties and all that stuff be- mm-hmm. and, and do rags before I met him. Mm-hmm. This is a, a real black man that grew up with black women in his household. Mm-hmm. So he mm-hmm. would always, I, we would go to bed and he'd be like, you're not going to wear a, bo- a bonnet? And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> wrap that thing up. Yeah, I'm like, you think, same thing. Yeah. You, should, you yeah. think I should? Yeah. And then he'd be like, yeah, th- th- put it on. So comfortable. And I'd be like, my man wants me to wear a bonnet. Like, he's okay with looking at me like that. I yeah. mean, shit, it's going to protect my hair. So right. since then, since we've been dating, I've been wearing them. And my wow. hair has grown, obviously, since then. So, yeah. so it that's a backstory of the bonnets and the do-rags. Okay. And that was, like, a moment of, like, damn, this is liberating. This is great. And it's, like, good for me. So, like, why wouldn't we want to bring that to our audience? That's one. Mm-hmm. And two. That's dope. The, that's really dope. I love it. And it, it's so affordable for everybody. So where can we 19, find those? The Comar the Comar store. Store. Com. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he loves Com- it. The Comar <laughs> fam. He's like... Right, right, right. <laughs> Thecomarstore.com. You can go get nice. those, you guys. I mean, honestly, we don't have that many left. I'm not gassing it. Like, we no. legit have, like, a few Thank, more thanks, black thanks ones. Thanks to the Comies. And it's going to, to me. Thanks to the Comies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to get you one. I, I have a package for you. Okay. Wait, show them the Comies shirt, bro. That, yeah. That's yeah they, thanks to the Comies. Thanks to the Comies. Damn. Roll in so with tight, the Comies. Y'all. Love it. That's so tight. Love it. Um, And then the Dance Place clothing line started simply from doing tours, going from place to place, and not having any damn clothes to wear from rehearsal to um like the uh, in studio rehearsal to the stage rehearsal then yeah. to to the plane yeah like and especially growing up in Miami like you got to look fly i used to dance for people like if you didn't come with makeup on yeah. to oh yeah rehearsal, i know the most were, bad ones the most bad ones before the most bad ones were the most bad ones oh for it real was us. Mm. oh wow. shit and honey we needed to pull up we, just in right. case we got on that private jet okay right mm. right so, right i'm like damn i don't have anything that i feel comfortable with that's not leggings that's basic as hell so just came up with this dance based clothing line called five six seven eight. Come on. Five six seven, seven eight. eight. I know you guys know because we are in the after class, of course. You guys yeah. know. Yep, yeah. yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> with the illusion now, okay. <laughs> with the the baddest beach. The queen. Bow. And um, so we put that together and then it just started growing. I started it in my living room, you know, started at zero dollars. And DIY, DIY, I DIY'd it. I DIY. I had a lot of horror stories with like hiring assistants, firing people, like yeah. The worst that made me, me stop want to stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk about that because okay. it's not all peaches and roses, right? But right, you know, right. there's ins and outs of it. And then um, this summer we decided to do some shades, and they ended up going crazier than yeah. I've ever anything I've ever done. So they were called the VVIs, the VIs. Yeah. And <laughs> I wanted to branch out. COVID hit, and I'm like, you expand, know what? Let me try to expand, expand and try to do something cool. So I mm-hmm. went into the lash game, and here we are. Wow. See? We're full out with the lashes, mm. and I'm very excited. You have this a special package on the way. I would have brought it for you, but I need it to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, guys. All I have to say is, starting businesses from scratch is probably the most liberating thing you could ever possibly do in life. Yeah. Mm. It is fucking hard. I'm not gonna sit mm-hmm. here and be like, "This is great. I'm a millionaire and life is lit." I cannot sit here and tell you that. Yeah. Right. But what I can say is that anything that's satisfying that literally starts with an idea in your mind to physically hold a product, yeah. to physically have one sale, just that process, there's right. nothing like mm-hmm. it. Other than the dance side yeah. of, of being able to see yourself dancing for someone, like that's the same feeling. Yeah. Right. Like right, I had right. that before. She's like y'all a drug. Are, yeah. Yeah. And y'all are the epitome of. If you win it, it doesn't take anything away from me. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love women that are doing shit yeah. with me. I love yeah. I love having, I don't want, I'm sorry, I'm going to sound really fucked up. I don't want my friends to be bumming out. Mm-hmm. I don't, that's. So you I, can feel like you're better. Right. I'm, right. I don't need that validation. Yeah. The validation comes from me and the products that I produce. Right, and, right, and right. The, the, the exchange between person to person, uh, you know, yeah. the people that support. That's where I get my validation because it makes me feel like, okay, I'm doing something mm-hmm. to make to better the whole situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As far yeah. as friends go, I, I've been reading a lot of books and I think that you are the energy you keep. Mm. A word. And why would I want to be around anybody that has to, that's not, we need everybody to be pushing. I'm going to push Can't you relate. and you push me. And everybody, when we all make millions, we're all going to be on the private jet together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to yeah. need you to make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I don't want to be paying for everything. You can't be successful. <laughs> I'm not going to pay for anything. You I'm not going to pay for everything. Yeah, you can't be successful. And then your friends and your people that's right there with you mm-hmm. are not succeeding. No. Now, if they're not doing what they need to do to pull themselves up, then that's, that's on them. But, you know, you're encouraging that you want your friends and your people to be as good as you. Because you can't go 
and jump on a jet. And then your, your, your friend like, yo, but I, I can't really go. And then they expect you to pay. And, and they, yeah, no, you know, oh, they expect you to pay no. the way. And I would rather like that, have nobody know? on the jet. I would yeah. rather just be me and you. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and at that mean, point, there's mm-hmm. highs and lows to everything, you know, yeah. not always, not everybody's going to be on like whatever, but like, as long as you're pushing each other, there's enough money in the world for all enough. of us. Yeah. Okay. Money is made out of, it's an abundant nothing. The, it just comes out of nowhere. Just it's paper. Yeah, we all literally. can make it, you know? And I feel, I really believe, especially for women that are listening to this show, I know Aaliyah has a huge woman following. Mm-hmm. Queens, you guys. Yeah. Queens, yeah. we lift each other up. We yeah. move as one. And it's okay for us to be doing the same exact thing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because guess what? It's There's never the exact billions same. of people in this world that are going to buy into you or to you. And it really doesn't matter. They're not like, buying your product. They're buying you. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So just to, I had to get over that. Those people could just think about the bread aisle at the grocery store. Right. Yeah. There's a hundred different brands selling the same thing. Dang, there we and, go. And it's not like you're going to go buy only one brand. Clubs. Guess no. what? You're going to try. I'm going to try, try them this, all. I'm I'm try I like that one. This, I like this one for this brand. Yeah. I like this one in sourdough. I like this one in wheat. And then yeah. this okay. one is keto. I like this one in keto. I like this one in white. You know? So, yeah, so that's great, see. Women and all that stuff, you guys, you got friends, lift your friends up. And then also growing to get last thing, growing together. Aliyah and I both started with not a lot of followers. And yeah. I say that humbly. Okay, but that's a lot for <laughs> some people, babe. I'm just saying, I'm saying you like, have a million we, now. Okay, well, we started, okay. That's Exponential growth. Okay, yeah. that is. Yeah, that is. Percentage-wise. <laughs> Come on, get it together. Hey. Get it together. Just saying. We but know what you're saying. Those people. But you, you had started, to start from zero, though. You yeah, started, everybody started. And from you don't zero. have to go and ask Oprah to put you on her show so you could get lit. Yeah. Right. In fact, it, that probably friend. won't work anyway. And yeah, it probably won't. I mean, I don't know if it <laughs> will. Right now. But I'm sure it happened to a couple people. What right. I'm saying is, go to your friends, go side to side, reach out. Yep. Hey, Aaliyah, let's do a video together. Let's um do a cooking show did together. Help. Collaborations, Collaborations did collaborating help. with your you friends. You said a key word, side to side, because everybody's always trying to get the person who's up there to put them on mm, no mm, sometimes mm. you got to work with people who have the same goals that's shit, the same. y'all can the rise to the, the top together mm. there you that's go. the name mm. of the game then you won't feel like somebody just gave you a handout yep. that person won't feel like they own you because they put you on you ain't got to worry about all that yeah it's the name of the game what i will also say the last thing because i know damn i know we might be over time i know y'all gotta go but also for the queens who are listening to get yourself a king mm. that supports everything that you do mm-hmm. and you know what I mean? Adds to your power and yeah. and 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 gives power to you. You know what I mean? And self love, self is gonna bring that. Mm-hmm. So you have to There's be. There's so many queens that just get so yeah. like they get so self conscious and th- and they just don't want to be like they don't want to uh, make more money than their man or maybe their man doesn't support what they do because maybe they're you know they show a little too much or whatever i mean the reasons I can go on and on and on yeah the reasons Cannot. go on and on and on but some queens <clears throat> they i want them to find a king that will support and that will add and that will help you know what i mean they don't like have to find but just rephrase it they don't really have <clears throat> to find it'll come one. to them if if they i want are, i want y'all to attract that attract i want y'all to know what they want for there themselves you go. There you go. sometimes they're like is. i just want i just want is. a man with Period. a lot of money Period. and that looks good and da, 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 da. and then once when y'all are in it and once when he finds out what she does he's not with it and then it's like how can that relationship work you look good you have it all whatever the situation is but for a queen to like really thrive and be in a successful relationship the man, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You add to everything that I do. Yep. He adds to everything. And then we create things together. Yep. You, also, has you guys to are also bringing something more to the table than other than you, your appearance, your physical mm. appearance. Mm. Yeah, you know? for Absolutely. sure. I, I mean, Ooh! physical appearance is... <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's half the battle, right? Because yeah. I can't, I'm not going to come talk to you. You're not yeah. going to talk to me if I'm not attractive. Right. Yeah. Right? So but, it's half the battle. But... But yeah, you got to have something else going that on. That substance for you. is key. It's key. Our first day, it was t- we, we were sitting there for three hours, chatting. That's mm-hmm. great. Chatting, learning each other's background. Right, I never right. mean I've never didn't know one person that knew him. It was mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. But that's not the point of this conversation. <laughs> what I wanted to say <laughs> was that self love, y'all, to then be able to collaborate to pick pick your back off of what you said. The collaboration of finding what you want and knowing exactly what you want. I swear, before I met Omar, I wrote it down. Yeah. I wrote it down. It the plain. only thing I was missing with this was O M A R. Yeah. Was Aww. his name. Mm-hmm. And I'm not kidding. You would if you would have asked me this four years ago, I was out here. Right. Okay. Yeah, I know that. And I was not a hoe, but I was dating. Yeah, she was getting hers. Yeah. I was She was a little hoe. I, 
You know what, little baby? Variety is a spice you know, of you life. Wanna, you want to know, baby? You want to know what, babe? You was a little hoe. I, was I heard twerk- about you. I was twerking it up. I heard I'm not going to lie to you. I heard about Nobody, you. Nobody. Everybody wanted that Cuban Haitian over That's there. it. They didn't get it, though. Don't Cuban get it Haitian twisted. Fresh. I heard about you. I know okay. a couple homies that... <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We got to end this because y'all got to go get to your busy Damn. life. I want to thank you guys so much Man. for coming on. A conversation has been really good. Yeah, yeah. You know, thank anytime you that we us. think of like a couple, like, damn, we just want to hang out with a couple good energy. Y'all better yeah. come like, over. And you want to say, I know. And we could go Candace over there. Omar, y'all. Komar. Komar. You guys. Also known as Komar. Komar. <laughs> and I just want to say really quick before we go, a shout out to you guys. You guys have I'm just so proud of you. The fact that we're sitting here and we came in here, we walked in here and just to see the growth literally from the beginning. And I was there bef- when you guys got together. <laughs> I was in the room with her she when was. she was like, girl. I told her. I she told melted. her what we had did. <laughs> she, I told her what we she, had did. She all <laughs> melted. And I was listening to the story like, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> what? And the from people t- who were involved. She knew. She knew all I, of them. And I knew every. I know yeah. everyone. Yeah. 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 And to see where we're at now, mm-hmm. I'm very happy to be a part of your guys' lives. Aww. I'm happy that we share Likewise. our kids, our, our brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds crazy. Yeah. Okay, but I love y'all, <laughs> and I'm so proud of y'all. Yeah. And um, th- this is only up from here. 2021 is about to be our year, and I'm claiming it right now. Yeah, yeah. Really quick, really yeah, quick, yeah, yeah. I want you to shout out um, all of the, the websites or, for, or the Instagram, whatever, whatever one, or both of them. For all of the after class listeners to go check them out, y'all go support our friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go uh, get yeah, y'all. Yeah. Hey, it's almost Christmas. What do we want to? What do you want to get your people for Christmas? Get all it. of this. Support. Where do we support, go? Support. Where do we go? Yeah. Um, at Omar Bolden, mm-hmm. at Candice, mm-hmm. and at the Comar store, and then the we'll the put what? it on the screen too. Yeah, yeah, clothing, we'll put it on the screen. True. The true, clothing true. is at V V I V I I apparel. <laughs> Let's get it. It's a lot. You guys, V, f- f- for you stupid, the VVI, <laughs> you know what it stands? It's five, six, seven, eight in Roman numerals. I have hey, to explain that, that to you right now. Oh, shit. I Because everybody so does. Times. I mean, it's a conversation starter, so I'm not yeah, going to lie. It, it kind of was dope. great. But at the same time, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. And it's like, I'm like, shop that X- call me in 5678.com. <laughs> Yo, and look, health is wealth. So my man Omar. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say that. Yeah, yes, it, it, yeah please, for the ladies please. listening, yeah, if you guys need to work on that Get stamina right. for, you know, Leah's next class, yeah. <laughs> head over to X2 Workouts. We'll That's keep, me. Yeah, we're going to keep you right. I need to X2 workouts. This com. good, bitch. This good. I'm what is it? Give me. You guys, seriously, we need to do a grip workout. Yeah. Yes, we will. That's coming. What's the website again? X2 Workouts. Dot com. X2, X2 workouts. workouts yeah, dot at com. home, in gym. And they have booty workouts, they have plans, ab workouts. Everything you need. Eating plans. Yeah, Workout yeah. with Omar. This is y'all. a Super Bowl champion. Yes. Champion. Yes, yes indeed. Yes, come indeed. Who, who else would you want to train with? Right. You know come on now. Come yeah. on now. X2workouts.com. Come get and right. It's good for women, too. So it's not yes. all weights and shit. Trust yeah, yeah, me. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, can we incorporate some dance? <laughs> <laughs> and then he he's like, all right. And then I'll be like, can we do the stretching that we do? Yeah. And then he'll Solid and then point. he's incorporated that too. So there's definitely some dance elements in there for anybody that's afraid to train Right. With yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, be kind of scared. I'll be like, I yeah, can't yeah. do that shit. I you can't know? do that. Now you I'm a soldier. Bear. You get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I would now, get we, in. We I'll get in. I'm just talking about the listeners. Yeah, we got something oh. for all levels of fitness. Okay, okay. The, our yeah. biggest thing is just encouraging people to move. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. There we go. There That's we go. It. Especially like, now that we're getting back into shutdown. Yeah, yeah. Like, and our workouts aren't even long. Thirty okay. minutes. Thirty minutes to an hour. Make it hot. So it's it's not about being in the gym all day. Okay. It's not what it's about. Just moving thirty minutes to an hour. Consistency. Consistently. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Consistency. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it here on At The Class, The Queen's Podcast with our kings. Thank y'all, Candice and Omar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all have a great week. This is the finale, so we're going into season two. Wow. We got some plans for season two, so this was our finale. They ended it off for us, so thank y'all so much again. Thank you, honey, for coming on, and we'll see y'all next time. Yes. Bye. Bye, y'all.